Hey everyone, what's going on? It's your boy Krebsy Crypto, and for today's video, I'm gonna show you how to mine Bitcoin on any just basic GPU mining device. It could even be just a normal desktop like over here. Well, not really a normal desktop, but if you just have a standard computer even, something similar to this, or if you have a full-on rig like this, like these few here, well, this tutorial's for you. I'm gonna show you how to mine Bitcoin, or at least be paid in Bitcoin when it comes to mining, because most people have been using NiceHash for the last few years, but recently they put out this KYC thing, so you have to like submit your KYC, which is know your client, so you have to fill in all like your tax information and stuff like that in order to actually mine through NiceHash, which I've never really supported KYC, especially when it comes to mining. Uh, crypto should be decentralized and anonymous just like how it always has been but with something like nice hash ask for KYC when you're simply just mining and sending it to like your own wallets and stuff that shouldn't be really like a thing I understand on their exchanges like they have nice uh, nice X exchange or whatever it's called that's ran by nice hash I understand if you want to use their exchange to use KYC and stuff like that even then I'm still 50 50 with that but just mining on their nice hash platform, it should not allow for KYC. I'm gonna show you an alternative way to mine for Bitcoin or at least be converted to Bitcoin or even Litecoin or any few coins you choose to. I'm gonna show you a couple different pools and new ways to do it. So that way you don't have to go through the whole KYC process if you still wanna be paid in Bitcoin or something similar of the sort. Unless you choose to stick with NiceHash and do KYC and all that, this is for people who want some kind of alternative method. And as you see here on a random note, I'm slowly getting a few of my cards fixed and I'm gonna be adding a whole another rig here, hopefully depending on the power consumption. Because if you see my other video, I am taking up a good chunk of my power in here. I can't run much more. I might be able to run, like, run one more small rig and maybe one from like the kitchen area. I'll grab an extension cable, and run that over here. But to stick with the point of this video, uh, I'm gonna jump over my computer now and show you guys the pools and how to set up. Uh, that way you're paid in Bitcoin instead of using nice hash or anything like that. All right, so now we're over on my computer. I just have my Hive OS opened up so I, I can show you guys how to make like the proper flight sheets and set up everything for your own farm. Or even if you're just using a single computer and you just have a spare PC running at home and you wanna mine up some like Bitcoin, some Litecoin, some Dogecoin, just any of the few. I'm not gonna stick it directly to Bitcoin, but that is my main focus as this is an alternative to NiceHash because like I said, NiceHash is doing the KYC. So if you're on Hive OS, you can just click into your farm and go to wallets here because that's what you're going to want to do first. And depending on the coin you want to mine, you want to set up the wallet, the corresponding wallet to it. So as we see Bitcoin here, I have, I have it set up on my Coinami app. That way, you know, I can set aside on a USB, you know, put it in cold storage, any of the ways because Coinami is, I'm pretty sure you're able to do that with. But that's besides the point. You want to get the corresponding address for your Bitcoin. So if you're storing it on an exchange, I wouldn't recommend doing that. I would recommend using like Trust Wallet, Coinami, even the hardware wallet of like a ledger or something, or even just a Bitcoin core wallet. And then once you have the address, you can post it in. So all you do is click add wallet. And then you come here and go to Bitcoin, for example, and you paste in the address right here. And then for your wallet name, you would name it whatever you want. And then you click create. And this is just for Hive OS. If you are using Windows, like I said, you can just copy it and put it in a notepad or something of the sort. So that way you have it for when you do set up the mining software. But anyways, I'm going to show you the two pools that I do recommend. I do have a third option as well that we might go over. But the first one is unminable here, just because it is pretty well known. I know it's kind of a 50-50 in the mining world because they do take fees and all this extra stuff, but so do a lot of other pools. There are some pools that don't take any fees and just let you keep everything. But unminable is a very good alternative just due to the fact they have a lot of algorithms and a lot of coins in general that you can mine for. So you're not directly mining for that coin, you're mining on the algorithm you choose and then you're paid out in the corresponding coin you choose. So if you do want Bitcoin, all you do is click Bitcoin or Dogecoin or even if you want, let me see here, you scroll down. Another good alternative to Bitcoin is Litecoin. So you can just literally type it in here. So I see Litecoin is a good option, a lot cheaper, lower payout, lower fees, things like that. Um, but if you want Bitcoin, all you do is select Bitcoin. 
and then you're going to scroll down a bit and then you're going to see all this it might not make sense to you but what you want to do is depending on your cards or cpu or whatever you're using you want to mine the most profitable algorithm so right now uh autolycos is one of the more popular ones because it's not high power consumption and you're mining ergo and ergo is doing all right right now it's nothing crazy but it is slowly making a comeback so if you were to use some gpus that are six gigabyte and higher you would use uh, this algorithm here for example and then if you scroll down here it says to get started here's the information so your best way is to use the tcp ports here at least that's what i've always used i haven't looked into ssl or anything and all you want to do is click on the port number so for example if you're going to do 80, you click that and it's going to copy the whole address automatically. Of course, you can just click it here and just highlight it yourself. Or you can click manually set a server and it's going to bring up these different options for unminable. So they have your US pool, you have your Canadian pool, you have your European and Asia pool. So obviously, depending where you are located, you want to set up the corresponding pool. So for me, mine's Canada. So I would come down here to alternative ports and click on the 80 one. And then you want to go back to Hive OS, or if you are using a mining software, you want to open up the batch file and put it in. I'm pretty sure I still have SRB Miner here just to use as an example. So here's SRB Miner. So if you want to mine Ergo, for example, which is what the algorithm is, you would go edit Notepad++. You would leave all this, but in the pool here, you would paste that one there. And you can get rid of the stratum and TCP, obviously for SRB, for example. And then you can just get rid of the second one. You can use a fallback pool if you want, but I always stick to just using one pool just in case, you know, something does happen. I usually mine to a pool because I like said pool. But this is just for like the Windows uh, way of doing it. So all you do is paste the pool right in there. And so instead of filling in like your Ergo wallet here, you would fill in the Bitcoin wallet because that's what you're being paid in. So on Mineable Works, like I said, you're mining this algorithm here, Auto Lycos 2. You're mining to the unminable pool, but then you're being paid out in Bitcoin. So you'd put your Bitcoin address right here. And this would go for any setup you are using in these batch files here or any mining software in general. If you go to edit the bat file here, you're just going to paste in the pool and then the Bitcoin wallet or whatever wallet that you want to be paid in. So if you want to be paid in Litecoin, Dogecoin, you know, if you want to be paid in Ergo, you can paste the corresponding wallet to there. Just remember if you are using unminable, that it does make a difference on the wallet because that's what you're going to be paid out in. I know it's a little confusing, but I just wanted to show both ways here. And then for Hive OS here, you want to go to Flight Sheets, for example. And then right off the hop here, after you do have like your Bitcoin wallet added, you go here, you go to Bitcoin, and then you do like Coinami. You do have like your own wallet if you choose to. I did it right through Hive on before, but it didn't work the best. So I click Coinami because that's the wallet I'm going to use. And select pool they're going to have a bunch of different options here you want to come down and click configure in miner obviously you can use some of these but some of these are more so for directly mining bitcoin itself like i said unminable allows you to mine whatever algorithm and be paid in bitcoin a more profitable way of doing it instead of directly mining bitcoin so you click configure in miner and then depending on what unminable says here usually you can see around the right hand side it will be LOL Miner, NB Miner, T-Rex, Nano, Team Red, SRB. So those are your options for mining Auto Lycos there. So all you would do is go here. And for example, we would put in like SRB or something just to show you guys. And then click Setup Miner Config. So here you would type in the Auto Lycos and make sure it's Auto, Auto Lycos 2. Sorry if I'm botching that uh, pronunciation of it. It's just how I read it. So and then wallet, you would just hover over this I and click wallet. And then worker name, you can click worker name. And then pool and server port. Like I said, you just want to copy your corresponding one. So you paste that here. Just get rid of the stratum plus TCP. And then password, I believe you just leave as X. So let me see. Yeah, so you would just leave. I usually just put X. And then for wallet here, you want to copy it with this way here. So... For example, let's we'll copy that. So we'll just redo it. So you go BTC, the colon, and then wallet, and then dot, and then you could do the worker name. The so worker underscore name. Sometimes it can be a little confusing with Hive OS. Sometimes it depends on the mining software, how you set this part up. So you can leave worker name here, but I would just recommend closing, like deleting that. Because like you said here, this is how you want to set it up. 
So BTC, your wallet address, so the Bitcoin wallet address, and then worker name. The reason you just put wallet and then worker name is because it will take it from the rig you have set up, and then wallet, it will take it from the wallet you do have inputted. So you want to make sure it's all set up that way. You can disable CPU if you want, so that way you're just doing the GPUs and you know that. You click apply changes. Like I said, depending on the wallet you have set here, that will set it for the percent wallet command there. Let's close that out. And then you can just type in like Bitcoin slash auto glycos or something like that, right? So in that way, you know what it's for. And like I said, this is going to be mining Ergo and then converting it to Bitcoin. And the payout is roughly the same as NiceHash, I believe. I think NiceHash was a little less. But this is free payouts as well, so you're not being deducted anything. I'm pretty sure, like I said, they just kind of take the little bit of percentage once you're actually mining it. And all you would do is click Create Flight Sheet, and then that will make the flight sheet for you, and then you can just fire it up on your rigs. If you have any problems with SRB, like I said, just go on Unminable and see the list on the right-hand side here. And if you're really unsure on how to set it up, if this tutorial didn't help you for some reason, you can just click on it. So if you click like SRB, it's going to show you how to directly go through and how to set it up in the batch and then how to actually set it up here. So like I said, your wallet, coin address, worker name. So if you are using Windows, you would put that in the wallet. So coin, and then you would put the Bitcoin address and then your worker name. So for example, it would be BTC. And then this would be your uh, Bitcoin address right here. And then you would just name this worker one or AMD one or whatever rig or whatever name you want to give it. And then that will allow you, like I said, to mine auto Lycos and be paid in Bitcoin. They do have a wide range here. So let me go back. Like I said, they have a wide range of algorithms depending on your card and what you do want to mine. There's Zellhash, Dynex, Zealous, Auto Lycos, Fish Hash, Blake, RandomX. Like you can even use the CPUs. That's why I mentioned at the start. You want to use RandomX for CPU, or you can use Ghost Rider as well. I would recommend more so uh, RandomX just because it's a more prominent algorithm and easier to use on a lot of lower end PCs. I have not really used Ghost Rider myself, so I can't speak on that. But with RandomX, it works on a wide variety of CPUs, low end, high end, mid range, whatever you want. And obviously, depending if you have ASICs and stuff, you can also do ASIC algorithms, GPUs, three gigabyte and higher, four gigabyte and higher, six gigabyte and higher. They have a wide range, so it's it's not it's not bad at all. Like I said, there's always been kind of a debate with unminable and using that compared to like nice hash and stuff. But now it's kind of really sticking out because you don't have to KYC or anything. And if you do want to use unminable in the easy way on Windows, all you do is click how to set up our easy mining app. Or sorry, you go back and then you go up top here and click get started. And it's going to bring you to the uh, unminable app for Windows. And all you do is right click, save link as, download it. And then you want to exclude it from the virus protection like I did in other videos. I'm not going to specifically show you this. If you do want a separate video for that, just let me know. I can go through and show you how to set up the actual software as you see in the pictures here. It makes it a lot easier so you don't have to go through all these bat files and stuff like that. It will automatically, you just select the coin, put your wallet address in, and it does the rest for you. It is a really user-friendly software, and I applaud Unminable for that. Compared to even nice hash and stuff, Unminable probably has one of the easier softwares. And then just another pool that I do recommend, it's a little bit smaller of a pool. It's still pretty well known, but it's zpool.ca, and they have a wide range of coins and payouts and things you can do as well. You can pay, uh, be paid out in Bitcoin, Litecoin, BCH, and Dash as like your main coins you can also be paid out in like digibyte and a few others those are like their main assets that always are guaranteed to be paid out the other ones just depends on how many blocks are mined so it goes by you know if you and the pool mine a bunch of blocks that's how you're going to be paid you're paid per the block it's not like they have a whole bunch on tap you know what i mean and their payout is a little bit higher at 0.0012 compared to unminable here which is 0.00075 so it does take a little bit more. So this requires probably a little bit higher of a rig. But if you go onto their website here and then go to algos at the top, it's going to show you all the algorithms that you can use. The green ones are the ones that are in high profit right now. And these kind of give you more CPU algorithms compared to unminable. So if you are a CPU miner, you can definitely check this out. 
it just goes by you have to kind of know your algorithms and stuff like that so it takes a little bit of research but it is a nice like easy going website i used to mine dogecoin and litecoin a lot on here because the payouts are pretty low for doge and litecoin but for example we'll just go here and let me find one here we'll use ghost rider for example for cpu they have a like four or five different coins here as you see so currently they're mining that and it tells you when their blocks were mined and everything so right now raptorium isn't as a prominent one so they give you some other ones that are in profit uh that are in profit and that are being used and circulated so you might not always see like raptorium or whatever if you are mining on the ghost rider algorithm you might see these smaller projects pop up but then you're still paid in whatever coin you select so for example on zpool say you select equihash 125 which is flux's algorithm you would select that from the drop down here so equihash and then you'd select the currency so bitcoin and then what you want to do is come over here to the like the flight sheets and then you go set up the same way bitcoin coinami configured miner it just depends obviously on the software so for equihash i would use mini z you would set up miner config and then you go here in 125.4 and wallet and worker template so this is kind of what i wanted to show you guys so for the username you would do like the wallet address so you would just do wallet just like that password would be c equals btc because you're being paid in bitcoin and then the pool and server url would be right here you could try both ways some of some pools don't uh sorry some softwares don't require the stratum plus tcp part so you just put in the, uh the url just like that and then like i said just make sure you have it set up in that way so if you are wanting to be paid out in bitcoin make sure it's c equals btc in all caps the lower case is the c equals but if you wanted to do Litecoin, you would do Litecoin and then just make sure that the wallet you select is not Bitcoin, but Litecoin. I know it's kind of a little confusing. I'm trying to explain it the best I can just to give you guys options compared to NiceHash here. But yeah, so all you would do if you want Litecoin, you would select Litecoin from this list. So LTC. And then I would just throw in my trust wallet here. And then you would do the same setup. So wallet and then 125.4 and then password of C equals LTC or dogecoin or whatever corresponding one i just want to show you guys how it's laid out it's the same thing if you're using this type on windows here so you go here you would copy the pool url you put that in here and then your wallet would be uh like i said the corresponding wallet address so btc or like coin address and then you would set up a password and then that would be c equals btc or whatever corresponding one that you are mining it's simple as that i might be over explaining it but it's like to make sure you guys fully understand both pools and what i'm trying to do here and show you guys you're not directly mining bitcoin of course you can go ahead and do that but it's not going to be near as profitable not even profitable at all just because the size of the bitcoin network and needing a6 and all that you want to mine the algorithm that's good for your card or cpu and then be paid out in bitcoin or this or that and if you want to directly mine let's say like flux or something you could directly mine flux and then just convert your earnings over to bitcoin if you choose to depends whatever scenario you want to do whatever coin you want to build up whatever is most profitable for your scenario because sometimes it's more profitable just to directly mine the coin or to mine an algorithm and be paid in a different coin it just depends what you really want to do so yeah that's pretty well all i got for you guys today hopefully that this helped you out and you did learn something from this video i try my best to thoroughly explain everything and to keep everything kind of raw and simple so we can learn together and i can obviously show you guys stuff i know just to help you in the mining space in the mining world but again that's all i got for you guys today if you did enjoy or if you learned something new make sure to hit that like and subscribe button as i will be having more weekly videos coming I'm kind of on like seems to be uploading every Monday that kind of fits the best for my schedule right now I want to eventually expand to more videos but there's only so much you can do in the mining world and I don't want to oversaturate my channel and kind of have useless tutorials in a sense but I hope you all have an amazing day and this is Krebsy Crypto signing out.